And then we'll schedule a hearing. The board's authorized to schedule a hearing immediately after. Yes. Okay. So I don't know the date yet. If necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after moved. the motion, Mr. Chairman, if necessary. It's been moved and seconded. Now, um, I do have one other question, too. Um, can, what about our insurance council? Can you notify them about what we're talking about? Yeah, we'll yeah. talk to them. I, I haven't spoken to them, but um, we'll reach out to them. Explain to them what we're talking about. Yes. Okay. And before we take a vote, if we're done, under Robert's rules, the audience has an opportunity yeah, I, I, to ask questions. And I have one more quick thing, though. Um, I, I understand that the cats and these are still an issue. So I actually have talked to a woman over in Peters Township who has a farm. She actually helped some people in Peters um, with their, they had a problem near their park, where she actually took the cats and spayed and neutered them at her own cost and then released them on her own farm, which I think would be preferable to, to the people in views so that they're not being spayed, neutered, and released back in use. Now, the only thing that she was a little bit hesitant about was that some of these cats may be people's pets, and she did not want to, you know, get into any sort of issues Most of the that. pets got collars on. Okay. You can tell the wow. So maybe, yeah. I mean, if I could get your email, phone number, we can sit down and talk, potentially even with this woman, and we can work something out so that she can... How are we going to capture the cats? She comes and takes oh, care of it. Yeah, she she does this kind of on the side. Now, what did she ask for this before? She, I'm sorry. Did she have a price for this? She she had charged Peters Township a thousand dollars. She wanted to kind of see the situation first and and give us a price, but she didn't think that it would be any more than that. And we've already we've already approved two thousand dollars for the the spade and neuter program, and I don't think we've done but a little bit of that right now. <coughs> It hasn't been a whole lot. There's only been two or three cats. So there's still plenty of money in that, money in that fund, but let's, this might be an alternative to, to taking those cats. One of the difficulties you may have over there, and I'm sure uh, those, those here in attendance know who we're talking about, that some of the people like the strays and want the strays by their house. However, I don't consider it a pet if you let it run all over the neighborhood. So there may be some opposition from I those individuals. I think she had said that if they're licensed or... Um, she had listed some things that we can go over that would qualify this. There was like vet bills or something. She had like a whole list of like pre Well, Clarence, bills. he has a chip and he has a tag on chip, his cat. Chip, that's what I Everything. He does let it run well, but he keeps it in the house at night. Right. And yeah, he's, not the, yeah, he's not the problem. I he's mean, not he's, the problem. He's responsible, right? But our... Well, Art just lets his run wild. He I, I think God is faded, but he lets them run wild. I think there's an answer to this too. If we go ahead and go through with this program, this woman agrees to do this also, that you notify everybody in the area where you're trapping the cats. If anybody would say, look, my cat's disappeared, then they could contact the township and see if it's been trapped for some reason. Mm -hmm. Try. I, I agree totally with, with the woman's idea. I don't want anybody's pet taken away from them. That was her only concern, because she said that when they did it in Peters at the park, they knew that those cats were not anybody's pets. The people who were in the park were just feeding them. So. And there's a motion on the floor in a second. Yeah, we've, we've, um, yeah, was, I regarding the oh, no, we, we didn't have a vote on that yet. We had a motion in a second on the Pachani stuff. Did, yeah, I, I mean, I, on the Pachani, he'll let you get through with that because they just tore one in the house of Donnie Cannonsburg. He was so, on one? He's soon. They tore one in the house of Donnie Cannonsburg. Let him sue us. Yeah, that's all. He, that, he'll let you there, son. That's probably what he wants. <laughs> this is another yeah, yeah, Is there any other comments out there? Yeah, I, I, the Pachani thing is twofold, though, and I brought to this. This thing up maybe a month, a month or two ago. The outside is horrendous, and that should be something that, that should be currently be, be able to be enforced through this township with the, the coal in structure that's falling over, the weeds, that, and this. If he clears all that out, I think you're going to have a hard time with the, uh, the integrity of his house being uh, uh, unsafe because didn't he already have an engineer's report saying it was safe? His own. Oh, okay. his own, but it was a qualified engineer, right? They don't say anything. Well, I don't know. That's uh, right. we, we have a hearing in June um, for uh, property maintenance at the magistrate for that property. Get it cleaned up. And uh, I mean, believe me, I'm no proponent of Pachani to get them out. But I'm just trying to foresee what you're going to run into roadblocks. Yeah, after that way. stay there for a while. He's cleaning the yard. I got you. And he's so a professional man. And yeah. I think, uh, yeah. I hate to say it, but I think his attorney might be uh, 
uh, gratis, so uh, we can just keep on rolling. But like Tom said, we have to get inside to see if it is structurally oh, signed. Absolutely. But if it isn't, if it isn't, then we have grounds to do this. If it is structurally signed, then we do have to back off. And we, we talked about it probably isn't because the other end is going to be eight days or ten years. It's all speculation until we find out. Yeah, we exactly. did talk about alerting you guys for that, yeah. for that hearing date to bring your testimony. <coughs> all right. Oh, yeah. I'm going to we'll let you know. Okay, so we have a motion on the floor and we have a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 No opposed, so it passed. Is there any other new business or old business to go over? Debbie, you had something. Wait, oh. I didn't hear you. Is that, is that for us or the uh, board of supervisors? You guys. Anything else? Can the audience speak? Dave, you want to go first? Yeah. Dave, we're at 120 Birch Lake. Back on uh, question on the forensic audit. If I get the funding, we can vote on the friends of God. We'll talk to the township none. Are you talking about funding the whole thing? Yes, the 20,000, yeah, whatever it is. Oh, well, you're talking hundreds of thousands. Well, whatever it is. Whatever it is. If I come down with the funding, someone giving me the funding, we can vote on the friends of God. We would have to make sure that what you're talking about is that... I'll you... have the funding right here, and when I ask the question that night, will you vote on it? I don't know. Will we approve it? Yeah, will you approve it? I'll vote. Thank is you. that something we'll you say yes. say yes. How about other three? John, the question I have for you, can we legally do that? Can we take money in, in from a resident and just do that? You know what, I, honestly, I don't know, because it's, it's sort of unusual, Dave, that that would be... That Someone would come forward with that kind of money. Um, so I think we'd have to look at that. I mean, if, it, if you know that. If I, it would happen, can I get an order through the state or the county? You'd have to ask the board to let me look at that because I don't know. All right. Dave, 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 I don't have a problem with it, but I'd like to join the look at yeah, it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let me know. Because I don't want to on something that, that's not legal to do. But that's fine. Trying, I mean, as long as we're going to. We we don't, from the board can vote, we don't let anybody have access to that I'm information. Just say, yeah. you know, by second class township code, we have our auditor come in and do that. Um, well, what? Well, like, well, that's what he's saying. We'd have to authorize that. The forensic yeah, auditor yeah, yeah, wants to be paid for it. If there's any difference with that or not, if somebody else outside the party is paying for that. Like, if I came in just out of curiosity, I know we could still a gatekeeping duty for the board to say yes or no, but is there any. <coughs> I have no idea. There may not be a All right. Let's make sure it's legal first, and then the only other thing is it would be fully funded. All right. So, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Any more, other? Two more questions. Did we finally get. Can you do me a favor? Thank you. Did we finally get Mr. Pushak and Miss Bickley off the off the Cobra? Because I don't see it this month. I don't know, Dorothy. <coughs> what is um, uh, Mr. Pushak was removed April first. And how about Miss Bickley? I know she has not been removed. She, so where's she listed on the uh, thing here? I don't know if she's not listed or not, but she's still. In, I believe she's still. Now come on, if she hasn't been removed, she got to be listed here. It should be because she's still there. She is back on page nine. I have not processed a change order. In nine, Concordia Uniform Officers Police Benefits fifteen hundred ninety-seven dollars and forty-nine cents. So she's under there. Is that where she is? Page nine. That would be page twelve. Page page twelve. <coughs> Or yeah, but I mean, my, my whole point of the matter is for months and months and months, we, we named these people, and then all of a sudden we're just grouping them. Why? For what? We're grouping them under police, whatever, or something. We're, we're grouping people. We're not putting names anymore. What? Who authorized to do that? Somebody had to authorize to do that. It certainly was not me. It wasn't you? Well, who, who did that? Personnel, see if they'll tell you. Personnel? That would be Katrina. 
I mean, Don, you're, you're the uh, manager. Did you authorize somebody to remove names? <laughs> no, Mr. Beatty, I did not. Do you have the uh, information there right now, Don? Uh, as I stated before, I, I can't find it here in front of me. I did not uh, authorize a change order, so I can tell you from that perspective, I did not remove it from government. Okay, then well, on page 12, what, what does uh, United Concordia uh, uh, Uniform Officers Police Benefits 1597-49 who does that include? I'm sorry, what item number do you have to Page 12, we'll leave it to see. Page 12. It's not, it's not a, a number under the item, but it's. Yeah, 410 Four up from the bottom. Three up from the bottom, excuse me. Yeah, 410 United Concordia Uniformed Officers. Yeah, who, who is that? That's the uniform. That, that's uh, coverage for the police department. Well, how about on page six? We have covers for the police department also. Why is it uh, why is it split up? That's that's dental coverage. United Concordia. United Concordia? Yes. So you're still saying Miss Bickley is on here, but we don't know where she is. She's in here somewhere. Well, I mean, we answered the question, but kind of indirectly. I mean, no, she's in. No, I answered. She's in there. She oh, okay. So, can I hear for sure that this isn't an attempt to hide it? So I don't keep asking this every month. No, it wouldn't be an attempt to hide it. It would be a time to, uh, to protect their identity if they protect it under code or cover or other other health. Well, I mean, for the last six months, we ain't protected our identity. Why we starting up? <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. Sometimes things come up, Mr. Grady, and laws change all the time. Mm -hmm. no, I, I haven't, I haven't, I'll ask my attorney if they change the law, but I, I don't, we both know Dawn Henning, whatever it was there. Uh, my final one is um, um, the cost to do the uh, audit, I guess, for Mr. Pucha was over $30,000, right? Is that correct or not correct? Or we're not going to answer that. Yeah, we can't. No, that's not correct. That's not correct. Was there a cost for that? Yeah, yes, there was. Okay, can all we recoup that money from him? No. Should be able to. I, I would think so too. I think that it's over twenty-five thousand, maybe twenty-six thousand, mm -hmm. uh, with all of the everything. That is all. That is that is two parts. That's for the special investigation. That's not solely an audit. You're talking about the charges in Kirkcaldy. Was there anybody who recouped from him? I spoke to a gentleman who was a, a supervisor on North Shore Bank. He says, absolutely, you can get the money back. You know, I, I, I don't want to, because it's a person on there, it, it has been discussed, and there are some things in the works about that. So I don't know, you know what I'm at liberty to say. Um, but, but you know what, John? All these questions I ask month after month, it's, it's we're checking into it, we're checking into it, and it's always, and it just goes... I had actually asked the district attorney to have a meeting with his five supervisors because we did have some questions and that was one of the questions and right now the district attorney wouldn't do it with us. Maybe down the road in a short while we will. Well, under but what he refused to meet with us right now. He said he would meet. John, I guess you did talk to him. Yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll meet with us once you know, everything's done because there's an ongoing case. Um, I did discuss well, because you know your family and you don't have pants on up there, darling. I understood it from, from Don, Don, that Fly you wanted to meet with us. And I thought that that was most unusual because it was a matter of litigation. And that I never heard anything about it. And, and then he said he wouldn't meet with us. Excuse me, Mr. Beatty, page five has Mr. Bigley's name on it. And part of it, Elizabeth, was the fact that any questions that the supervisor had, I just wanted the district attorney to get them. That's why I wanted to have the meeting. Even though they're going what, through the You questions. asked for the meeting? Or yes, I did. Oh, okay. I haven't called the district attorney and left a message, and I didn't get the call returned. Well, I, I, I don't see it. I don't see it on I have it right here, my copy. On what? On the expenses? Re yeah, expenses. No, it would be on income because. It's, it's an income, it's not, a, it's not an expenditure. It it's right here. You can look at my phone. Oh, we don't have that copy yet. We have the expenditure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we don't have that. Yeah, she doesn't, we don't pay any money for that. Yeah. We got page one yeah, under trans, uh, Transactions Journal, and then there was a second page. There's no page.